So you want to create looped animations. For example, Mixamo is a great library of animations, but the problem is they are very short, about one to three seconds, and you need to loop them to have a continuous animation. I have this animation of a character walking upstairs, but you can see after a few frames, they snap back to their first position and then climb and then loop again. We don't want that. We want the character to climb up. I've downloaded the animation and imported it in Blender and this is what we have. Because the animation is not looped, after the length of the animation, the character just stops walking. I want her to continue walking up. Normally you just duplicate these keyframes, but uh, she just slides back in position, which is not what we want. Let me show you a quick way to make the animation looped without spending a lot of time. So I'll just undo the animation and this is the original one. Just tap to the curve editor using control tab in your timeline. So we are looking at the curves powering the animation and you can see where they end. After they end there, the animation just stops. So what we can do is just loop these using F curve modifiers. You can select all your keyframes. Just make sure you have at least one F curve active by holding down shift and then clicking at least one just like that so that we can access the modifiers. Then hold on Alt, select the modifier you want. In this case, we want the cycles. So if I select that while holding down Alt, it will be applied to all the others. You can see now everything is looped. We need to change the after mode to repeat with offset. Just hold on Alt and then repeat with offset. So this is repeated as expected. And now our character just goes on forever. This also works if the character is running, so you can see he stops. We can make him run to infinity. Just make sure you have all the F curves selected and hold on Alt, go to the modifiers and select the cycles modifier that will have him snap back like that. And now just hold on Alt and then use repeat with offset so that he runs to infinity. Look at that. Now you can grab this guy, duplicate him a bunch of times, offset the keyframes for each of the duplicates Duplicate them a bunch more, offset the keyframes again, rotate them slightly. Now you have a large crowd of people running. Well, there isn't a lot of variation in the animation or even the characters themselves, but uh, you get the idea. It's a nice way to create crowds really quickly. If you want something production ready and easy to use, you, you can use something like Population, which is a crowd simulation system for Blender with a lot of characters and variations in animation, behavior, design, clothing, and a lot more. It's, it's basically the faster and more production ready way to do things. I always like to show you both ways, the way to do it with add-ons and without add-ons. Production ready versus hobbyist. See you in the next video.